tell that's a little out of my uh out of my normal uh normal kind of tone and playing that i do i've just been messing around having some fun i got this real tube uh, uh pedal that billy gibbon sent me he's been sending me all kinds of stuff um pedals and everything from pedals to peanut butter to all kinds of stuff it's pretty wild um man what a trip and so, uh, man, I know it's been a minute. Good to see you guys. Thanks so much for letting me post those little trio clips. We're working uh, our butts off to get that trio out on the road and, and come to a town near you, hopefully really soon. Um, anyway, I know that that playing that I was doing there was just extremely uh, uh, crazy, like, you know, super overdriven and that. But, man, this real tube pedal is pretty fun man i mean i've never had a, a a singing lead tone i just plugged this thing in a few minutes ago and started dialing it up for the first time playing through the old princeton reverb but man what a how much fun is it to play with uh some overdrive i've been trying to lighten my touch up i i've been realizing um that I, from playing so much acoustic music growing up i um i play really hard like my my right and left hand are working way too hard. And so I'm trying to kind of lighten up and start letting the guitar and the amp do a little bit more of the work. Uh, Cause man, my hands are just taking a beating. And so um, uh, there's that. Uh, I'd like to, um, I'd like to take the, the gloves off, uh, the boxing gloves off for a minute. I'm gonna turn this uh, overdrive off and I'm using the, I was using the Dispatch Master for a little extra reverb and my Strymon uh, delay pedal, which which I, I love. Um, and this is what this thing sounds like normal. This is a nice. pretty cool really lightweight I've had it for a long time um, but I never play this thing and so uh, it's a lot of fun it plays really good Rush is a great steel guitar player uh, here and guitar player who you've seen with uh, Dan Auerbach and like tons of sessions and um, and all kinds of stuff like that Vince Gill and all those guys um, it's got the Gretsch knobs cool three-way switch uh, nice little um, bridge ground wire exposed open humbucker on the front uh, cover off the moon equipped stuff it's just got some cool little things that i that i, that I like it, it's kind of like a, a a race a race car version it's got the little um uh, what do they call that the little stinger or whatever it's called on the back i'm not sure what they call it but there's a name for it uh anyway pretty cool anyway um so moving along like i said guys look i'm gonna take the boxing gloves off here and be totally honest with you about something um so I'm calling this 
the real, this is the real secret. This is the real shortcut. If there ever was one, it's not learn how to play the guitar in 30 minutes on YouTube. The, the real answer with this, and I'm telling you, you guys, I've, I've had guys kind of ridicule me a little bit about, oh yeah, blah, 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 chord tones, chord tones, chord tones, chords, chords, chords. I'm going to tell you, and, uh, and of course our buddy, Uncle Larry, you know, he, he talks about this all the time. Um, and he's right. And living in a town like Nashville for 22 years, um, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I see what works and what people are doing. Some of the greatest musicians and guitar players on the planet are my friends and, and live here. And I get to work with them and see them play for years and years and years and years. And I know what it, what it takes and what, it, what works to make real music. And I'm going to tell you a couple things here, just brutal honesty. I've been holding back a little bit. Um, but but I'm gonna give you the, the the full scoop here. There is I think a lot of guys separate chords with rhythm guitar. They think chords is like rhythm, and they think single note is like lead, which it is. But this information on the fingerboard, your chords, the information around those, and seeing all that is one thing. That's really when stuff's gonna start to click for you and, you're, and, and that with using your ear, these core fundamentals with using your ear is what's gonna change your life on the guitar. You have to know the cage system. I don't care what people call it, but you have to know it. And I teach so many lessons uh, these days and I'm seeing like a reoccurring pattern like over and over and over and over again. When you think you know the cage system and the information around those chords, major, minor, dominant seven, major seven, the triads, moving that note, like I've shown you a million times, um, uh, you know, uh, major, move the root down to get a major seven, down another half step to get the dominant seven, move the third down a half step to get a minor. That learning that and knowing that everywhere on the fingerboard is gonna start making sense to where you're not lost when you go to take solos and you wanna play lead guitar. We all love to play lead guitar, but that is, this is the secret. I'm, I'm just, I'm telling you, I see it over and over and over again. Guys that think they know the chord shapes and, and their cage system, I'm talking about doing the real deep dive and knowing it so well that you can see this everywhere on the fingerboard. So a great exercise is to, to, to bring that into some practical terms that you can use uh, I'll show you a couple things here, but that's really the short, if there ever was a shortcut and there ever was, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, just trimming the fat away and getting right down to what really works. This is how you open up the fingerboard of the guitar. You de you help to demystify what's going on here by learning the inversions of these basic chords up and down the fingerboard. And the, the, the beauty is, is once you learn it in one key, you know it in all 12 keys. But like this, for example, you've seen me do this little R and B. Right? You've seen me do that R and B uh, rhythm pattern a bunch of times for an example. But so take that A, uh, sorry, C to A minor, F to C, but learn it in these different inversions. Learn, learn every inversion. Tune, but 
but but you know you see what I mean so breaking those down and then you can start really seeing like okay and little melodies and lines and, and stuff are going to start coming out of these chords and so that combined with the, the the huge elephant in the room is using your ear and really really starting to see how you know playing through these triads just um uh, C to F, G, C, and learning how the major scale It's, it, it's a combination of that and, 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 like I said, with the major scale. Those notes don't mean anything unless you start putting, uh, you know, uh, another chord or another bass note under those. So if I go... show you some examples but that's the idea right up the uh, from C there's my major third of F you're just hearing these nice melodies and these like nice lines so it's not just you know stuff with, that doesn't make any sense uh it's getting to the to the beautiful melodies and the and the nice tasteful playing and being able to play what you want to play on the guitar not the guitar playing you we need to be playing the guitar um and so that's my big spiel it it, it if you really want to learn how to play this instrument and get better i would highly 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 suggest Try to figure out a way to look at the guitar being one thing. It's not chords are for rhythm, single notes are for lead. The, the minute that you can, the sooner that you can start seeing the chords and everything else, uh, fills, uh, um, double stops, mel uh, harmonies, single note lines, everything is all put into a big bag and, and shaken up. We're seeing these chords, me and the guys that I work with all the time and the, your favorite guitar players, we're seeing the chords and we're playing, we, we, we can see it. We're seeing the shapes of these chords and our hand muscle memory knows where to go. Uh, and and that's, the fu that's the fundamentals. And then the, the real part of it, like the, the um, more almost spiritual uh, part of this is using your ear and, and trying to take these concrete fundamentals and then forget about them and move into where you're actually making music and playing music. And it all comes down to the song. Don't forget, it's not about like, okay, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic. It's like, what song, what's the feel of the song we're playing? Are we playing something that's like, um, you know, are we, are we getting into some like, you know... So if you're playing, uh, you know, if something's a, a very real, you know. A major, right? Let's get into that. 
that for a minute. sounds of, of this let me let me go um let me turn some of this stuff on and do a um a little like uh uh a uh, mixolydia <laughs> against the major third and the time the root right that, that, that sus too just right there just that line tension right tension and release so uh, I know this video was kind of all over the place uh, a little gear a couple little gear things been getting into checking out this uh, overhive pedal I haven't really tried that yet uh, the real tube I've been just loving that man it's really fun um, totally out of my wheelhouse but uh, anyway guys hope you have a good one don't forget to check out the links below I got the direct links to the uh, the tip jug if you want to help you know contribute to some of this stuff like some of the recording that we're doing with Uncle Larry and and uh, the, the coffee the coffee jug, you know. And so uh, thanks for that. Please check out Artist Works with all this stuff that I'm talking about really broken down in a, in a crystal clear way. Lots of new stuff coming from Artist Works. We've got some updates uh, with the curriculum, uh, some fresh new stuff, lots of new uh, stuff in the works with that as we, as we ramp up to do um, a bunch of new uh, add-ons to the curriculum. Nothing that's there now is wrong or anything by any means, but we're just gonna do, I've learned a lot as far as teaching in the past 10 years, and we're all learning together. We're all trying to progress together, and and man, that's what it's all about. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate the support. Sorry it's been a minute since I've been on here. Uh, everything's good, and um, looking forward to seeing you guys down the road real soon. All right, take care, bye. Guitar you don't see very often, the Russ Paul. Love this thing, man. So cool, lightweight. Uh, Gibbon sent me that real tube, which you heard. I've been um, messing with that. Something way out of my ballpark, but cool. Uh, here's the Dispatch Master. You've seen Uncle Larry use that. Great pedal. That's the Overhive. That's the new Nobles Plus with the Boost. Love that. And then here's my uh, little Princeton Reverb that I use. There's my settings for the YouTube stuff and most lessons and my my buddy I keep around here a few little toys just showing y'all a 
little backstage, if you want to call it that. Just a couple mandos, a little setup. Nothing fancy, but it works. All right, y'all, moving right along.